Classic to me is what stands the test of time. If you can put a project on, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it don't have to be, bro, it, it don't have to be from like the most critically acclaimed name. It could be from, for me, fucking Future Love Drug Sounds by Dom Kennedy. You might not know that. Future Love Drug Sounds by um, Dom Kennedy classic mixtape because I could put that shit on and I could remember exactly where I was at, what I was doing, how I felt. And then when the music, when the music is speaking to you and the times that you was in, that's how you know what a but classic that's, you is. Mean, that means you really you, like it. You asked you ask me what my criteria is. I didn't say oh. for everybody else. What's I, the standard criteria for classics? The standard, so so the standard criteria for classics, what what, what classics, what I think the hypoth not hypothetical, what the general opinion is, is an album that you could put on that you can't skip through. That's what people say. If you could put the album on and you don't skip nothing, but there's tons of albums that fucking miseducation of Lauren Hill. <sighs> Bottleism. Jeez, come on, bro. You feel like, no, no I'm, but this is what I'm saying. The score by the Fugees. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Iron Man by 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 uh Iron Man by uh Ghostface Killer. Life or Death by motherfucking um C Murder. Yo, I I pro like now I'm not speaking on if you could skip because some days, bro, I put on an album and I might listen to one song all day. One song. I don't have to listen to the whole album. I could listen to one song all day. But it, for me, it's about how it impacts and how it impacts culture. So you know do you think with that last part? Because mm -hmm. I was niggas said I was crazy. What classic does Drake have? Take care, nothing was the same. And and, and I I'll, I'll say take care, nothing was the same. Um if you read in this it's too late, it's crazy, but that's when that's the crazy. that's when the writing yeah, yeah. shit came about. That was good. Um, and I also say, uh, what a time to be alive. I said, yo, I said what a time to be alive was a classic, and niggas was like, I forgot who said it to me, but somebody was like, You bugging. I was like, yo, bro, that album, what Metro did sonically on that album, defined what sound was for the next 10 years. Mm. You you go back and listen to that music, it aged very well. Bro, I, you know, it's funny because, I don't know, when I think of Get Rich or Die Trying, mm -hmm. Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, it, it just, even um, Usher, My Way, or Confessions, let's mm -hmm. say Confessions, I remember those, like, they created moments. Yeah, yeah. Like, even like uh, a Beyonce, um, what was it, the Renaissance? Like, yeah, those were moments where it was like, yeah. it created things like hot sauce in my bag, the cheating allegations with Jake, like... Mr. Education, bro. Lauren Teflon Hill. Dawn by Rick Ross, classic album. Deeper than rap, classic album. I ain't gonna lie, I might be going out on a whim here. Triller too, Triller classic to so me. So when I think of these projects, mm -hmm. and I compare them to Drake's projects, but stop comparing them. You don't have to compare. The Listen, feeling. Comparison is the thief of joy. But the feeling. Comparison though. is the thief of but joy. Did you see how you can name those? I didn't even know those, but. The f I remember the feeling that confessions get like that. Feeling. Yeah, but you I also was a kid at that time, so you was uh, at that time, bro. Music consumption was different. A lot of the albums I'm talking about were iPods, where it was individualized, where like it was only, and I could say that the same for like maybe uh, CD players, right? Mm -hmm. But beyond your CD player, you could turn on the radio, and the playlist that was on the radio was jamming. 